Hello and good morning. My name is Mimi and I'm going to be speaking about the shark fin soup industry. I chose this topic because sharks are dying unnecessarily simply so people can enjoy their shark fin soup. These deaths are creating an imbalance in the marine ecosystem and these killings are inhumane. According to OneGreenPlanet.org, an estimated 100 million sharks are killed for their fins each year. Most shark fin soup is sold in mainland China. Many people in China like shark fin soup. It is usually sold in Chinese and dim sum restaurants. More than one million sharks are dying because of, this, because of their fins so that people can have their shark fin soup. Sharks by the millions are being caught, having their fins cut off, and are then thrown back into the sea. People still make shark fin soup because they don't know better and they don't care about the sharks in the world. They just want money. People also believe that the sharks can give you medicines and help you to heal your body when it actually doesn't do anything. The shark medicine is made up of shark cartilage and shark skin. It is, cure, is, it is used to cure cancer, but it doesn't do anything helpful to the body. Shark fin soup can also be, in, can be very expensive in various places and countries. It is expensive because it takes a lot of hard work to catch sharks because you can't use a net to catch the sharks since that would kill all the other fish and animals in the ocean. Shark fins, once they are cut, are then dried to be sold onto markets and restaurants to be made into shark fin soup and sold to the public and in some places the soup is sold mainly to tourists. The shark fin trade is a multi-billion dollar industry. The soup is sometimes sold for $350 per bowl. The shark fins don't even add any flavor to the soup. Chil chicken or pork is usually used for the flavor of the soup. The fins are only used for the texture of the soup, not the taste. Therefore, the, sharks, the shark fins in the soup are useless, so people are just wasting the shark because they only take the fins instead of the whole shark. Sometimes the, sharks, the, the fins are cut from the sharks and the sharks are just thrown back into the ocean to die. Sharks die when they are thrown into the ocean because without their fins, the sharks can't swim, so they just drown and sink to the bottom of the ocean. This, they are also in a lot of pain, which is cruel. Sharks are not only killed for their fins, but they are also killed for their jaws, teeth, liver oil, and cartilage. People have shark tooth necklaces and a lot of other items made from shark body parts. Same as shark finning, if we continue to do this, the sharks will, will become extinct. Any shark is taken regardless of their age, size, or species. People don't care about, the sh about what the shark looks like or how old. It doesn't matter if the shark it doesn't matter if the shark is a child or a newborn. They just take the shark, cut the fins, and leave the shark to drown to the bottom of the ocean or bleed to death. Unfortunately, shark populations have decreased from 60, by 60% 60 to 90% in the last 15 years just because of shark finning. A phenomenal amount of sharks have died in a short amount of time because of humans. If we stop shark finning, we will have an opportunity to save the sharks, and like I said before, stop the sharks from being extinct. Some people may think sharks can kill you so it's, much, so it's much safer without them. Yes, people do get injured or killed by sharks, but according to recent studies, the number of people who do is actually incredibly small. You are 16 times more likely to be hit by lightning than to be bitten by a shark. And yes, sharks are dangerous, but they are not found in many common places like beaches in Hong Kong or normal popular beaches. They are usually found very far away from the shores and deep in the ocean, so we are safe from them. We also have boundaries in many beaches, which sharks cannot pass. I'm, sure if the fishermen, I'm not sure if the fishermen want to do it or not, but the fishermen catch the shark and are forced to cut off the fins of the shark. The way the sharks are killed is the fishermen take a knife and cut off the fins. Some people also may think, we live on land, so why bother with what happens in the ocean? Well, first of all, we eat fish, and if the fish are dirty and not healthy, then we will not be eating very good and fresh food. Second, the marine and ocean life is very important, and if it's damaged, then the world will not, become such a happy, will not be such a happy place. Because the world is actually made up of 71% water, so that means that the world is made up of 29% land. This issue is important because sharks need to be in the, o in the food chain for other animals and marine life. If you would like to fix this problem of shark finning, you can help by first of all, not eating, shark, 
not eating shark fin soup. If you don't eat shark fin soup, the, the restaurants that, that have shark fin soup will not do good business because they won't be selling any soup and hopefully they will stop. Second, spread the word. Tell your friends and family to stop eating shark fin soup. Third, there are many organizations fighting to save marine wildlife such as Sea Shepherd, the Humane Society International, and Wild Aid. There are, or, there are also many or, more organizations which you can find on the internet. Last but not least, if you enjoy speaking in public, why not give a talk about shark finning like I just did? This will not only enlighten others about the problem of shark finning, but it will also make you an expert on the subject, as you will probably need to do some research about it to properly inform others. Maybe you could give a talk in your school, marine life center, or community center. Thank you for listening. I hope that you can make good choices and not eat shark fin soup so the world can become a better place.